My name is Dennis Crowley. I'm here representing the uh, Town of Medway, the Chairman of the Board of Selectmen, and the entire Board of Selectmen in the Town of Medway. I'll tell you a little bit about myself first. Um, <clears throat> I was a uh, graduate of Northeastern University. I did my internship at the uh, Southeast Regional Planning and Economic Development Council. It's, uh, and then I went into a different career afterwards. Now I'm retired. I'm going all the way back into the, uh, the planning cycle again as I enter my, my, my twilight. <coughs> um, I retired recently about, uh, about seven years ago. And I was running a small um, business unit for GE Transportation Systems. And it was a small business. We had about 100 employees. Did about $42 million a year. And in that position, um, I've been able to integrate with a lot of the planning mechanism that goes into the regional transportation. Our, our, really our goal was we were focusing on transportation and highway integrated systems. Um, I will date myself by telling you some of the areas we work in. I mean, we're, I was involved in um, the extension to Harvard, Porter, Davis, and Airwolf on the MBTA. I was uh, involved in the recent Greenbush extension down to the South Shore. Um, I was involved at, uh, with the Big Dig. I was involved in opening up the Ted Williams Tunnel. Um, I've been involved in a number of design and build projects where you need to have the expertise of planning, financial, scheduling, and understanding how the system works. Um, I have uh, served on the Board of Selectmen. This is my second term. I'm in my third year of the second term. And I wouldn't be here unless I love the position and enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, the, the little town of Medway is, is almost like, what are we doing here? Well, Medway is a very small town. We have 13,000 people in our community. We're surrounded by Frank. A lot of people probably don't even know what Medway is, particularly. I'll tell you one thing I was impressed with. Is when I looked at the map of how far reaching MPO is, and I look and I see Rockland, and we go all the way out to Bolton and Acton and Situate and Stoughton, it's 101 communities. I never realized how large it really was. And then in this, what's important to look at is there's some major cities in that region. But importantly, there's a lot of small town communities like the Medways and the Actons and the Boltons and the North Reddings. And <clears throat> I was impressed by, what I'm, what, one of my concerns that I really have is, the, is how, do we, how do we focus on, on fair and equitable distribution of funds that come in from the federal government. I mean, the cities have their infrastructure problems. They have their transit environment. The transit, I'm a, I'm a big supporter of, of the transit systems and the expansion of transit systems. These park and rides, problems with the park and rides, parking lots aren't big enough, quite frankly. Medway just recently um, um, were one of the first regions that signed an agreement with Gatra we signed an intermodal transportation agreement with Gatra, where we've been able to have our regional transportation take our citizens um, three trips a day to the North Walk train station. We're averaging probably about 50 people a day, rides over, rides back. That's 50 open spaces we're opening up at up the North Walk MBTA station as well. So the point of the matter is there is a lot of regionalization um, that, that the town of Midway would like to look at and expand on as well. And the, the focus is from Medway is we've been a small town, we've been a small community. We've had, quite frankly, we've had a lot of financial problems in our town. Some of you may have read it. We currently are in deficit financing. But this current board has been so active and so proactive that we've moved ourselves out from the deficit side financing. And we've been very aggressive. We're paying our note off. And we've moved our stabilization account. And I'm saying this because I want you to understand how aggressive this board has been, including myself who's been a member for these five years is we've moved our stabilization from 300000 to $3.4 million over a five-year period and still kept our school system rated as one of the top 50 in the town. So I'm here not as myself. I'm here to represent the Board of Selectmen and our chairman, who's been very aggressive as we try to take a small town like Medway and regionalize. Medway cannot continue to be an island unto themselves and simply focus on Medway. We need to expand our horizon. We need to be involved in regionalization. We need to get out there and meet other towns and other communities as well. And we need to start focusing on the problems that address all of us and not just our little small town. 
come with some of the questions. How would you uh, represent MPO? Everybody has talked about funding. Everybody's talked about the infrastructure problems we have. You know, we have current we have current infrastructure problems, but uh, quite frankly, I'm more concerned about our future inf infrastructure problems. And where are we going in the future? Do we drive down? I still call it 128, not 95. Not I age myself by saying that. The traffic is horrendous. The traffic in, trying to get into work in the morning on the Mass Turnpike, and that intersection at uh, Mass Turnpike in 95, 128. We need to do something, and I. Those are the focuses, the areas that I think that we as a region, North Reading, Cohasset, all have to look at because it affects all of our residents as we move to the future generations as well. <clears throat> One thing that I did want to discuss is that, um, and, and I want to, it, it may seem like a trivial issue, but it's something that really, that, that quite frankly bothers me. I'm making a commitment to MPO my understanding was we were going to meet in two, two, uh, two Mondays a month. Thursdays. Thursdays in a month. My commitment is, as a representative, to be there every meeting. And most importantly, there's nothing that aggravates me more when I go to a board of selectmen meeting and, and committees are not prepared and do not understand. And we waste so much time trying to educate somebody that's sitting on that board that they haven't done their homework and be prepared to sit in that meeting to discuss the issues. I guarantee you that I will be prepared for every single one of those meetings that I get in. And I can read a spreadsheet as well. Um, what are our central transportation needs? Well, we've already gone over the funding, funding issue. Everybody can talk about that. that that's a foregone conclusion. But I think we need to work with our congressional delegation. Um, and, and in quite frankly, I don't know how strongly we work with our congressional delegation. I'm sure we're, we're there in every day. But we need to continue to battle for those funds. Those limited funds, we need to continue to work within that arena, <coughs> to work with all of our congressional delegations throughout all of the 101 regions and cities and towns. What's important is there's only so much funds to go around. Hopkinton made the statement, it needs to be fair and reasonable distribution. We have cities that have problems, we have small towns that have problems, and we need to find the balancing act to be able to satisfy both the needs of the cities and the small urban towns and cities as well. And finally, in all due respect to Hopkinton, and Hopkinton has been a friendly community of us as well, and Hopkinton has been on the wood for 13 years and done an admirable job, it's our opinion that it's time to have some new fresh blood. <coughs> it's time to have new ideas, new innovations. We've taken Medway from the brink of bankruptcy to 8% of our, of our, uh, our budget is stabilization. And not many towns can say that. So with that in mind, we think that it's time just to make a change, to bring some fresh ideas for the MPO board. We've been very aggressive in the swap with our Paul Yorkis, who's representing us. We've been very aggressive at MAPC with Chan Rogers, who's been representing us. And I promise you I'll be very aggressive in MPO to represent those 101 cities and towns from the North Shore, South Shore to the western part of the state. Thank you very much.